Hello guys, so today I'm going to discuss an interesting, very beautiful problem from ISIM Start 2016, sample paper, subject is part. So rather than discussing the whole problem, right, I will discuss a subpart of it uh, because it is very deep and uh, there are a lot of consequences of that. Okay, so you know, we have a habit of uh, giving food for thoughts and generalizing the problem. So if you go through the problem, you'll understand the depth of it. So let's start. The prerequisites of this problem are the uniform distribution over geometric shapes and the maximum likelihood estimation. So let's see what is the problem. So the problem tells you that there are n points xi comma yi which are independently and uniformly selected at random from a circle whose center is 0 comma 0 but whose radius is unknown. So maybe you can guess the problem that you have to estimate r. But before that, let's understand what do exactly we mean by uniform distribution or uniform randomly selection from a circle or rather any shape. It means that if you have a bigger uh, S uh, like region and you are selecting a smaller region r, then the probability of selecting that smaller region r is actually the area of that proportional to the area area of that region r by the total area s so let's move on to the problem so you have guessed it correctly that we have to find an estimate rather the estimate is a special that is maximum likely estimate of that unknown radius r so what do you think like uh, this radius is uh, like can you, can you guess what is the what is the intuition? So you must have you must be thinking that okay the radius uh, maybe I can take the maximum of all the radii of those points. Yeah, maybe it's correct. So this diagram will make your intuition much more clear. So observe that this uh, is the suppose these are randomly selected points and what you have taken this. Uh, radius to be. It's, you must have taken this radius to be the maximum of all it, right? All these points, right? Yeah. So the maximum radius is the intuition, right? So whenever we tell this maximum uh, of something of the data points is equal to an MLE of the of a parameter of interest, so can you give an example? Yeah, it's uh, it's it happens in uniform, right? So, do you think that the radius of this set of points uh, follow uniform distribution? Like, uh, with the theta, which is the r here, we don't know and we have to estimate that. No. So, here's the intuition why it's false. Observe that if you take this bigger radius, then the circle the, the area of the, a small strip around that radius is more than a smaller area, uh, smaller radius ka strip uh, area. So it sort of gives an intuition that a uh, bigger radius is much more probable than the smaller radius, or is it? Like they are not same. Okay, so yeah, a bigger radius is much more probable. You can understand because the area is proportional to r square, the radius square. So now let's move ahead. Now let's try to find the mathematics of this. Like let's try to so to find the MLE, we need to find the distribution of the radius, right? So to find the distribution of the radius, we need to compute it. And we have seen that it's on uniform. So what's that? So let Ri be the radius corresponding to each of these points, xi comma yi that you have selected. And let let's denote Ax to be the radius, the area of the circle with radius x. And um, then I just normally calculate that. So you, here is what we are using the uniform distribution over that region, uh, uniform distribution, like uniform selection of points from the circle. That the probability of the radius R i is less than or equal to t is actually pro is equal to the area of that small the circle of the radius t by the area of the circle of radius r, which you don't know. And here is where the parameter comes in, and uh, the t is indicator. Uh, between R. So this is important as we'll see when you will calculate the MLE, the likelihood. So this is the density function and it's proportional to R square. Observe it carefully. 
So now uh, we need to calculate the likelihood and the MLE of this and observe that we have calculated the, the probability to be proportional to R square with some indicators and the likelihood is the probability calculating over all such RIs which are taking small RI values and the probability of all such RI since the independence of so the probability is getting multiplied PR of RI over all I is getting multiplied due to the independence of selection of the points and it's proportional to 1 by R to the power 2 n right because each of the probability is proportional to R square the proportionality is in, in only needed we will see why now so there is an indicator that uh, R is greater than or equal to the maximum of all the radii that you have observed and why because R is greater than or equal to R1 R is greater than or equal to R2 we will get from each of this and if uh, if you get this in conditions that something is greater than or equal to each of them then that means that that some upper bound is also greater than or equal to the maximum of all those so therefore we are taking the maximum order statistic here so now this is the likelihood function that we have we are seeing and it's exactly like the uniform right so it's sort of behaving like the uniform and a intuition is correct that the likelihood is maximized that uh, the like the maximum or the maximum radius okay the r of n the capital like the maximum order statistic of the radius and it's quite intuitive and it's bravo that we have matches so there's a <laughs> nice stamp over here but uh, you see this is what the beauty of the idea of statistics and the mathematics is that it's just matches of intuition right but we will we, as you know that the first part is solved but we will not stop here and that's where the beauty of this problem comes so I will give you a food for thought. The food for thought is that suppose instead of now I am just generalizing the situation that if so we have seen in the previous case that the the p of r of t is proportional to one by r square. Now my question is that what if it's proportional to something different that it's proportional to one by root x or root r. So what do you think will be the maximum likelihood estimate like? Here you understand that R is a geometrical perspective. Do does this have a geometrical perspective? What will be the MLE? Try to prove it that this actually the MLE will be the maximum of this theta. So it will be pro prove that this actually finding the MLE will be actually maximizing the length of the axis, major axis of the parabola. And uh, the maximum of all those lengths will be that thing. So try to prove this and it's uh, 1 by root x is coming due to this reason and you will understand why and this is a very beautiful problem and uh, 1 by root yeah so you will totally understand so try to prove this and uh, let us know in the comments about your thoughts and uh, can you generalize this idea okay can you generalize this idea to any fx so this is the main problem and think about it and uh, let us know and for more subscribe to our channel and yeah like share and comment and go, uh, don't forget to visit our website and yeah like share and subscribe see you next time stay blessed stay tuned